Hi, I'm Ken Johnson, editorial page editor at the Eagle Tribune. I'm here with Congressman Michael Capuano, Democrat of Somerville, who is a candidate for the United States Senate seat that was formerly held by Ted Kennedy. Welcome. Nice to be here, Ken. Um, I'd like to ask you a few questions. First, um, what do you bring to the table that uh, other candidates do not? I think I bring two things to the table. One is a clear and unequivocal philosophical view of what uh, this country should look like, where w the direction we should be heading that, uh, is, that pretty much mirrors the same philosophical view that Senator Kennedy had. Uh, and I also bring uh, years of, of successful experience in working in legislative bodies, not just in the United States Congress, but also in the, my city council in home in Somerville, as mayor in Somerville, uh, as uh, we talked earlier, as even as the president of my, my son's daycare center. I've been working with groups of people all my adult life uh, successfully and working hard to find compromises and I think that there's no other candidate in this race uh, who, can, who can say that with any degree of honesty. Mm -hmm. You say uh, that you want to continue the legacy of, of Senator Kennedy after more than 40 years of uh, this is the senator in office. Do you think uh, that the people of Massachusetts are ready for a change? I don't know. We'll find out. I think that's a fair question that will be decided in December. I think the people of Massachusetts uh, respected the direction that Ted Kennedy was heading. I think he reflected our views very well. Uh, and I, I think that if they're ready for a change, that's fine. Uh, that, that'll be born out of the ballot box. I think they want to continue in that tradition, and uh, that's the platform that I'm offering. Mm -hmm. What are the two or three issues you think are most important in this race, and how will you address them as senator? Well, I think that one of the issues is, is war and peace, uh, the Iraq war, the Afghanistan war. Uh, what do you want to do with it? What have you done with it? What have you done about it? Uh, and I voted against the Iraq war. I voted to send military troops to Afghanistan, but I now believe that that mission has been accomplished. We have chased al-Qaeda out of Afghanistan, and therefore it's time to, to begin taking our troops home and chasing al-Qaeda in different ways in different places around the world. Um, I, I think it's a matter of civil liberties when we, when we come to defending our civil liberties that are guaranteed in the Constitution uh, as far as our degree of privacy and, and the degree of not necessarily trusting the federal government to make the, the right decision all the time, that to want a checks and balances in our judicial system. Uh, and, I, and I believe in particularly the, uh, the health insurance debate that we're having. Uh, I just voted for the House bill knowing full well that it's not perfect, mm -hmm. uh, but it is a serious step in the right direction in my opinion to providing uh, accessible, affordable health care for everybody, to trying to contain those costs within a reasonable amount of money. Uh, and I'm proud that I voted for it. Others uh, have not yet said, now three days after the vote, uh, that whether they would have voted for it or not. One person has said they would vote against it. Uh, the other two have said nothing. And uh, I think if you want to be a leader in, in the United States Congress, that I think it's reasonable to ask how you would vote on a specific bill that we've just voted on. That's the most important vote we will probably have all year long. Mm. Tell us a little bit more about the health care uh, bill and how you think it will uh, allow us to control medical costs. I think most importantly is the public option aspect that will provide us the opportunity to have real competition. That and also the repeal of the antitrust exemption the health insurance companies have. The idea is not necessarily to replace it with a full-blown government uh, run option, but it, it's to it's to provide a, um, competition, which is the normal course of events in a capitalist society to have competition to keep costs within a reasonable amount of money. Um, and, and right now there is no competition in health care and everybody knows it. Even the people with health care usually have one choice or even if they have more than one choice, those choices are really the same. So you're, choi you're, choicing, you're choosing red or red. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we want to do, the idea is to try to drive those costs, if not maybe down a little bit, but more importantly stop the increases every year of 10 and 15 percent, which are killing our businesses, killing our individual people who are buying health insurance directly. Uh, to control them in a more thoughtful manner. Those are the most important short-term effects. Critics of the uh, public option aspect of the legislation say that it will encourage employers to drop their own health insurance and, mm -hmm. and dump their employees into the right. public pool. Do you think that will happen? And uh, if so, uh, what are the consequences of I, that? I, th I think not. I hope not. Uh, it didn't happen in Massachusetts very much. Uh, most mm -hmm. people didn't do that. Uh, it, it, because most people like their private insurance and they want to fight to keep whatever it is they have. I have a Blue Cross Blue Shield. I'm quite happy with it. You know, I'm, I don't want to change anything if I can help it. But I would like to be able to stop having to have 10 and 15 percent increases every year. Uh, so I, I don't think that'll happen. There are penalties in there for employers who do that. Uh, and, and so therefore, I, I don't think so. It is a fair question to ask and a fair thing for us to keep an eye on to make sure that it doesn't happen. And if it does, we'll have to readdress it. Uh, but I think going into it, uh, the history in Massachusetts has shown it didn't happen very much. Mm -hmm. as, um, as a matter of foreign policy, uh, 
positions. What do you think our role should be in Afghanistan? I think our role in Afghanistan now is to lead in the sense that uh, I voted to send troops there. I think it was the right vote then. I think it's the right vote today, even with the benefit of hindsight. I think it was right because Al-Qaeda was there. Mm -hmm. Al-Qaeda had just attacked this country and had killed 3,000 of our fellow citizens. I thought it was right and just to chase them down, to kill them, to capture them, and to make sure that they couldn't do it again to the best of our abilities. Uh, in Afghanistan, we have succeeded. Uh, even General Jones, President Obama's own military advisor, has said that in his estimation, there are less than 100 al-Qaeda in the entire country of Afghanistan. Um, my expectation is probably have more of them here in America than we do in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. uh, and that being the case, we have succeeded in the mission that we set out to do. Uh, they are not gone. They are now in Pakistan, they're in Kashmir, they're in Sudan, they're in Somalia, Ethiopia, and other places. And we do have to chase them around the world, and I totally agree with that. I believe that we should have anti-terrorism actions against wherever they sit. Uh, and we should help other countries that want to deal with that, such as Pakistan. The government of Pakistan is now taking action against them. Uh, however, they're no longer in Afghanistan. If they're not there, then I would ask, what is our mission? And I doubt that that answer can be had, except to somehow bring them democracy. Uh, democracy has never been successfully brought at the end of a gun. Uh, and, and I don't, and number one and number two is I don't think the American people would support that, and I don't support that. So if we have accomplished our mission in Afghanistan, my answer is come home. Okay, thanks for being with us. The uh, primary is on December 8th, and the general election will be held on January 19th. Thank you. Thanks, Ken.